Hey, you know, that's one of the coolest things about covering the LA Auto Show is all the celebrities that you see. And we have a very special person for Motown and the king of Motown. And he's talking about saving the Motor City. But yeah, there's an awful lot of buzz as well about that all important IPO. These are our heroes. These are the people that we look at and say they're the pioneers. Today, General Motors is introducing us to the first customers who will be buying the Chevrolet Volt. They'll take delivery in December. Some, like Chris Trexler, have already been driving the pre-production Volt as part of a test group. It's fast, it's quiet, it's solid. You know, I test drove uh, one of the other uh, electric cars that's being offered. It's a nice car, but the Volt is way more solid. Uh, it's got more features, more interesting instrument panel. I live in Hollywood. I'm about eight to nine miles to and from work. So usually I'm there and I may go around a little bit but not too much. So and then I'm probably gonna have the ability to plug in at work. So I should never have to use gas. Last night we had the chance to talk with Jay Leno who is also getting one of the first volts. He's done a number of projects with General Motors and says with the Volt and the stock offering, GM is proving it's on the right road. I think you'll see the stock price go up because there's a lot of anticipation for the car. E even people that hate GM are going, you know, that's pretty good. You know, so I, I think it's exciting and I think it's a good time uh, for Detroit. Smokey Robinson, the Motown legend, is also a friend to GM. He's hoping the company's resurgence will help revive the Motor City as well. I hope that it extends itself to Detroit. I hope that they open some plants back up in Detroit. Uh, I, I'd like to see the city um, uh, uh, thrive again because the auto plants left. And uh, if General Motors is going to do that, I'm for it. And we're all for it if they can help the Motor City in any way possible. Now, coming up on Action News at 6, we'll be talking with the head of Chrysler about what the GM IPO means for Chrysler's IPO planned for next year. All that much more coming up on Action News at 6, live at the L.A. Auto Show. I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News. With the star.